through my channel so today is going to be a what's like what's in my school bag or college bag sort of video i was intending to film this video back in september but because i went through like a recording like like i binge recorded like three videos or four videos in one day and i was going to film this video but never got around to it like i ran out of time and so i'm doing it now because i literally thought about it earlier and i was like oh my god i never actually filmed that video like i was intending to do it and i never did and i know this isn't the right time to do these videos but i thought why not do this video plus i'm thinking just to update you i'm thinking about maybe changing my upload schedule i'm not in the concrete works of it but if there are any days you want me to specifically upload then just comment those down below because i don't know whether monday wednesday friday is working for me in terms of my workload with 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 just youtube well not youtube i mean college sort of thing but yeah and also to any new subscribers hi or welcome great to see you and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and let's just jump into this video this is what the bag looks like it was £10 from Asda I will point out the inside of it is broken but that's because I probably overloaded it a bit too much and before I get into what I've got in my bag yes I know that I've not eaten enough today wait no I've not drank enough to say I mean I've eaten enough not drunk I have a bottle of water it's literally the Tesco 37p1 and it's the white grape and blackberry if anyone's wondering yeah blackberry in case anybody is wondering an empty cheese string wrapper which will go in the bin I promise my pencil case not much more to say about that really I put my tablet in here that's because I had some free time this morning didn't actually go on it during my free time but I just go on it today because that was during lunch but yeah my purse just because it has my ID in and I thought in case somebody is gonna steal not steal me in case anybody's gonna like pull me over for whatever reason if like I don't know just in case somebody asked for my ID then I've got it I know I've got money in here about two pounds worth so to be honest it's no point stealing from me my house keys with a Tesco club card on that just is the one thing that makes me feel like I'm an adult my empty sandwich bag from today my Victoria's Secrets Passion Stroke Spray which I've had for over a year like oh <laughs> the last 12 months to be honest though with sprays I think you can make them last longer let's use some of them now some of it now should I say my like planner diary sort of thing because it's obviously handy to put like write down homework you've got which to be honest I need to watch Dynasties the chimpanzees episode with David, As David Attenborough yeah I think it's a David Attenborough one I've got the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone book and for any Americans it's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and this is sort of like if for whatever reason I fancy reading then I will do I'm on pay I I've read 244 pages so far but I started this before Christmas and like I kind of went through phases where like literally I read like half the book in the time space of about three days and then a month later and I'm still reading the book <laughs> but I do want to read more this year I didn't mention that in my new year's resolution video and if you haven't watched it I will leave it in a card up there if you want to check it out but I've not like yeah I didn't mention it but I do want to kind of get back into reading a little bit more I'll update you on how that goes 
I've got my Morphe 35O palette. I haven't done a review on this as of yet, but I have been sort of like I want to play around with them and use some of the shades before I give my review. I am wearing it right the eyeshadow right now. That sort of thing, but a review will be coming like maybe early February because I do want to give this a long, a lot of try. And I've used my James Charles palette too much. And if you haven't watched my kind of review on that, then I will leave it in the card up there. But yeah, sometimes I take an eyeshadow palette with me, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends my mood on whether I'm wearing eyeshadow already. That sort of thing. I've got my phone charger. Didn't have to use it, but sometimes I do have to use it. Like, I know on Wednesday I might have to use it depending on what I do with my free time because I have a free period, so I could use my phone before then. Empty crisp packet, will go in the bin. Like to point out, pretty much any food wrappers are from today. Pencil that's obviously fallen out. this thing from English to do with viewpoints and yeah a cube pencil sharpener like no a dice pencil sharpener should I say don't know why it's a cube it's obviously in the shape of a cube but it's like a dice then I've got my notebook I have got two of these but one is in the drawer I believe or it's in my bookcase and so because I kind of discovered very early on that I wasn't going to need it because I'm so far if I take out any sheets I've literally still got that much left and in psychology we use um we've got like booklets sociology we get given handouts english we have got an english book i've forgotten it for the past few days but to be honest this has only really been used for homework and pages have been ripped out sort of thing or it's been used for tutorial or any research really and um, because something like I started off with sociology doing it in here because I, I really like writing it out but then to be honest afterwards it was sort of like a I didn't and so now I kind of use it for like research so today i was researching unis like related to the course I, courses i want to do and like how they're assessed and the entry criteria and that sort of thing which is something i like doing it's like i've spent a few of my free periods doing that before then there's another thing to do with english i've forgotten my english book for the past three english lessons I do know where it is. It's on my chair. But yeah. That's English lesson. A slightly crushed plastic wallet. These are obviously very handy for like folders and everything. A booklet to do with the um psychology and the debates like nature versus nurture, free will versus determinism, reductionism versus holism, that sort of thing. Still don't understand what they mean but yeah. Then there's the my mock exam for sociology which I got which I will do like a whole separate video on how I do how I did in my mock exams because it's like I've still not got one of my results back so that will come maybe Friday I don't know depending on whether I change my upload schedule it will come soon 
then there's the like English language like writing targets like like the, when the teachers mark they use a code and this is sort of what it is and if it's in what went well like the code will say you did that well if it's in even better if it means you need to improve I'm sure people understand what I mean and they've got it throughout the whole thing then there's my English speaking and listening which I have done and I will give you my result in the mock exam results sort of video but yeah I did my video not my video I did my like speech on like body confidence in case anybody's wondering then I've got some psychology resources so a guide like OCR guide to key theories oh there's a Cooper and Mackey powerpoints guide to course study guide to course study show so I have got more in here so might as well get those out of the way oh god key terms that's another like lesson book but Go to course studies too. Do they have any more of those? Oh, I saw a pink page. Oh, and a guide to key concepts. All of them are OCR. So, even if you were doing, like, if you're doing GCSE psychology this year, or, and you need any resources, even if your exam board is AQA or Edexcel, I'd maybe look into. The I would maybe look into the OCR like resources because even though they're not related to your exams they could still be a huge help. Then there's a research methods that would that would be sociology because it's a handout. Oh and then this is as done. Which is basically like an extra thing that fills up my, means that my timetable is filled up and I'm in full time education and basically it means the government pays for my education, which is good. Then that was, then I've got my, when my exams are, like my sociology, my psychology, my English, when the exams are, so. That was obviously handy. And then it's just activities and skills that I need to make to keep updated in psychology. Plus the course outline, outline which does include the exam dates but I've obviously written them down. But if you're ever wondering like when your exam is then... Oh, I've just ripped that off. It's there. If you're ever wondering when your exam dates are and I then either ask your teacher or if you know the exam board go into the exam board's website they will have them posted because I know OCR already have them posted I'm pretty sure and I'm pretty sure AQA does as well and I bet and I bet I do Excel does as well. Course handbook and then positivism versus interpretivism this was psychology not psychology that was sociology I'd like to point out at one point I did have um, a hole puncher in here so there is some like hole punching scraps that was from a stand kind of got a bit crumpled okay so I completely forgot about this it has been in my this was originally from my secondary school and it, we were originally given it for um, like spelling tests. We never actually did any spelling tests. So, yeah. And then my psychology teacher kind of wanted us to make a glossary so I started trying to use that. Let's just say I've not used it much been intending to but I've not used it much so I'm gonna 
probably spend some tomorrow writing out some definitions but I don't know whether I find it helpful I don't know plus then there's like this there's the NUS totem card advert thing and then to move on to the front of my bag there's this from a piece of homework I had to do she never actually asked us for them. I think that's because she was ill that day. Plus I've got tampons, like any girl has. I've got a pink pen. Because coloured pens are nice. I've got a blue pen. I've got a Morphe M513 blending brush. I've got a nail file because you never know when your nail is going to chip and to be honest my nail varnish is coming off so if it comes off drastically by tomorrow it's getting taken off then most relating to that piece of homework then I have a receipt for Lidl for tiger loaf and tomato soup also, if you want me to do like a Find Cheapest Food from the Supermarket Little Edition, then just let me know. And if you haven't watched my Tesco edition, then I'll leave it in a card up here so you can watch that out. What? Watch that out. Check that out or watch it. Related to that homework. Relating to that homework. Relating to that homework. Chewing gum. Because. It's not, like chewing gum's not banned in college so you can chew it in lessons and it's, you're not going to get taught to put it in the bin. Perfume, even though I've not sprayed it, so let's spray it. Obviously, I was about to say then, and then let's just add this to the mix. There we go. How was teas of the spray? I do use that pen lid. Relating to that homework. Then I've also got the iconic matte revolution lipstick in the shade so fair. So it's like the makeup revolutions lipsticks. It's obviously a matte. I believe I've done a review on this. If I have, I will leave it linked as a card. But yeah, this really cheap ass ring. Don't know where it was from. Then I've got something else in here. Relating to that homework. Relating to that homework. And I have 26p. Yay, I'm rich. I am joking. Anything else? Oh, I have a receipt. I bought lollipops and I bought bottled water for £1.30. Well, did I say that was from Loco? Well, I did now. Unless it's my bag empty. If you guys enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit smash a big thumbs up let's try and get this video to five likes hit that subscribe button if you are new or have forgotten to hit that subscribe button comment like any what days you want me to upload and any videos you want me to do because i'm happy to do them as long as they relate to the sort of content that i'm willing to upload because i'm not going to do the orange thingy whatever it is if I can't remember it's not that important and it's not being done but it's a fortnight move but not doing anything fortnight tried fortnight didn't like it I looked up and out that was the mobile game but yeah try and give me ideas relating to my type of content 
and is something affordable I can do on a very very limited budget and yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye